G'day, I'm Melissa Shannon, founder of DigitalScrapbookingHQ.com and today I'm here with another Photoshop Elements tutorial. I'm here in Photoshop Elements 2018 Organizer to show you around. I've been inspired by symbol scrapper Jennifer Wilson's great stash bash that she's running during March 2018 to take a look at my digital stash. I manage it in Photoshop Elements Organizer. G'day, I'm Melissa Shannon, founder of DigitalScrapbookingHQ.com and today I'm here in Photoshop Elements Organizer to help you organize your digital scrapbooking stash. Today I'm going to show you a couple of ways in Photoshop Elements to make your paper stash easier to manage. Now. I have a special way to find all of the digital scrapbooking papers that I own. I use the file size to work out which items in my stash are papers. So the first thing I'll do is I'll say the file ends with JPEG because paper files are typically um, JPG or JPEG and then I'll use a pixel width is 3600 which is 12 inches wide which is the pretty much the standard for all digital scrapbooking paper and the height is the same and we can uh, make sure that the search criteria says search for files which match all of the following search criteria and then you can save this search as a saved search I say that 10 times fast say paper and now all of your beautiful scrapbooking paper will appear so you have a couple of options when you have found all of your scrapbooking paper like this you can just enjoy looking through it and seeing the beautiful papers or you can actually add keyword tags or put them in albums so I like to pull over a few favorites into my to use look at this oh this bike one would be really fun for one of the children learning to ride their bike. That would be fun. There we go. There's another one. I'm feeling inspired to scrap cycling pages right now. Of course, there's Christmas, Big Ben, maps of Paris. There's so many beautiful papers in my stash here. So I don't typically do a lot of tagging of my papers and that's because in recent versions of Photoshop Elements it's now easier than ever to find things by colour. So if I want to find say different purple papers I can do find by visually similar photos and videos. So you can easily search for um, items that are the same color. I really like using save searches because you never have that issue when something new comes in then you have to actually tag it because the searching does that for you. But if you want to you can totally add a keyword tag. Actually let's add a new category for paper box there. Then we'll just move it up here to make it easier to see. We'll pop it in here and I can easily add the tag paper to all of my paper. The reason I would do that is that then I can combine searches. So then you can easily search for paper that is brown and you'll come up with some results. But for me personally, I like to just use my visually similar photos to find things that are similar but not exactly the same and you can also change it to match more closely by color or by the actual shape of things So you can see now why I don't spend a lot of time actually tagging all my paper. But it's totally there if you want to. I also use file name searches to find certain things like striped pages. For example, I can do a 
metadata search and the file name contains Kingham and you'll see all my Gingham papers and I could add that to and I could tag them all as Gingham then I could look for Stripe there's all my striped paper stripes and checks add then I could do plaid there we go there's a lot of plaid there and you know if you really like using stripes and checks you might want to have a whole category for plaid yourself but we could also go for floral and there's a whole bunch of floral pattern paper now of course this is probably not going to get every single so this method is not going to pick up every single paper but it's certainly going to pick up a few and it's probably a great way to get started if you're keen on specifically tagging items that have for example hearts on them. So I hope this has been helpful in showing you how you can search easily for all your papers and how if you want to you can go ahead and tag them or if you don't want to you can always use find visually similar photos and just narrow it down to paper to find all of your paper in that specific color. If you'd like to learn more about how Organizer works you can head to digitalscrapbookinghq.com slash OAB. My Organizing for Absolute Beginners class is there and I go through the whole user interface and show you how to use all of these different kinds of searches. I'll be back in the next video with another quick tip on organizing your supplies in Photoshop Elements. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you'd like to learn more about digital scrapbooking or Photoshop Elements, head to digitalscrapbookinghq.com.